People should know that animals on the whole are pacific creatures. When left undisturbed by people, they are quite happy to crack on with their lives and most will actively avoid contact with the dominant species. They only attack humans if they are threatened or maybe really hungry. If not, you are far more likely to be killed by an airborne champagne cork. However, as we always say, reality overcomes fiction. History has shown us that there are lurid stories of animals that have amassed heavy body counts. Just think of the film Jaws, it's based on a true story. In this video, bearing in mind the well-behaved majority of creatures, we will look at the five creepiest serial killers who were animals. Number 5. The Savo Maneaters We start with perhaps the most famous of all man-eating animals, whose activities between March and December 1898 halted construction of the Kenya-Uganda Railway and were discussed in British Parliament. The responsible? A pair of male lions that get used to daily human flesh buffet. The Savo man-eaters terrorized the workers of the Kenyan-Uganda Railway for nine terrifying months. According to Colonel J. H. Patterson, the head railway engineer whose eventual success in killing them is detailed in a wonderful book, the lions would seize their victims by the throat and shake them like a terrier shaking a rat. What made these lions particularly disturbing beyond their killing of 28 people was their cunning. After the first victim, Yugon Singh, was dragged by the head from his tent, Patterson and his men erected thick thorn fences known as bomas around their camp and lit fires. Both measures, traditional African techniques for keeping out lions, failed miserably. The man-eaters simply leapt over the boma and dragged victims through the smallest gaps in the fence. They would also avoid attacking the same camp two nights in a row, instead varying their routine to avoid detection. After many, many months of traps and defenses, the man-eaters of Savo were finally brought down in December 1898. Both were shot by Patterson with a 303 caliber rifle. He shot the first lion five times over the course of an entire day as the lion continued to stalk him. The second one needed eight shots, one directly in the head, to be killed. In total, just 13 bullets to kill the man-eaters. Either Patterson was a terrible shot, or the two lions really, really wanted to kill him. Number 4. Senkabetsu Brown Bear The Senkabetsu Brown Bear cannot compete with others on this list for the numbers it killed, but he became a nightmare for the Aikida family homestead in the Sino village of Senkabetsu Rokosen Sawa, Japan. In total, the beast killed seven people in what is still the worst bear attack in Japanese history. Awakening ravenous from hibernation, the huge brown bear proceeded to recently settled areas where he sowed terror. One morning in November, the bear wandered up to the Aikida family homestead in the Sino village of Senkubetsu Rakusen Sawa. The bear fled after only a few minutes but returned several days later to a nearby house and mauled a baby before dragging its babysitter off into the woods to be eaten. Attempts to recover the woman's remains resulted in the bear sustaining another gunshot wound, but surviving. The next night, the bear made its way to another house and killed three more people. This time, 50 local guardsmen made it to the house in time to fight the bear. Only one managed to fire a direct hit. Other men were guarding women and children hiding at the nearby Miyuke home, but left when they heard of the bear's arrival at the Ota house. Taking advantage of this, the bear broke through the Mayuki's window and mauled seven people. Three were killed instantly, with two later dying of their injuries. One victim, a pregnant woman, was partially eaten. One more time, the bear was able to run away. Finally, on December 14th, the bear was tracked through a trail of blood and paw marks and killed whilst resting beneath a Japanese oak. Its strange behavior has been attributed to its awakening prematurely from hibernation, which left it in urgent need of food during the cruel Japanese winter. Number 3. The Rogue Elephant of Aberdare Forest The Rogue Elephant of Aberdare Forest was a bull African bush elephant which terrorized several villages in the vicinity of the Aberdare Range in British East Africa in the early 20th century, destroying crops and killing at least one person. The elephant never attacked the same village twice, so his movements were unpredictable and impossible to follow. Deeply concerned, the locals knew their only hope lay in calling upon J. A. Hunter. He was a big game and professional hunter. Before and after World War II, 
Hunter traipsed up and down Africa with a large boar rifle, leading safaris and slaughtering over a thousand rhinos. As a renowned beast killer, Hunter found himself occasionally asked by locals to deal with man-eating monsters. A local village begged Hunter for help tracking and killing the angry elephant, and he accepted. J.A. Hunter documented his conversations with the natives about the rogue elephant attacks. He wrote, Two natives were returning to their village one evening when they saw a great black mass standing motionless in the shadows. The men shouted to scare the thing away. At once, the mass left the shadows and charged them at fearful speed. They heard the man's screams as the elephant caught him. The great brute put one foot on his victim and pulled him to pieces with his trunk. Then he stamped the body into the ground and went away. The elephant evaded Hunter for two days, but finally the elephant was finished off by a shot to the back of the neck. Upon performing the autopsy, he found a bullet buried in the nerve center of the bull's right tusk, which he believed was the explanation for the elephant's violence. Number 2. The Real Jaws The Jersey Shore shark attacks were the first example of shark mania in American history. They were the seed that grew into the annual week-long TV programming block at the Discovery Channel Shark Week, as well as Peter Benchley's landmark novel Jaws, which Steven Spielberg turned into a blockbuster movie. From July 1 to July 12, a large man-eating shark terrorized the Jersey Shore. The monster attacked five people, killing four of them. Shark panic soon gripped the entire area, and the shore lost a quarter million in tourist dollars as thousands of bathers decided to spend their vacation somewhere slightly less shark-infested. Locals fought back. Hundreds tried with nets, dynamite, and guns, but they were not lucky. The campaign was 100% unsuccessful, but one day, a great white with a belly full of human remains was caught by a lion tamer named Michael Slicer off the coast of Manhattan. The shark weighed 325 pounds and was 7.5 feet in length. Since there were no more attacks after the 14th, and the attacks had been moving north up the coast of Jersey, people realized they had solved the problem. And how did Schleicher kill the shark? He had to murder it with a broken oar in self-defense. Altogether, 15 pounds of human flesh were found in the beast's stomach. He may not have been guilty of all the killings, but those hunks of people didn't get inside its stomach by mistake. Number 1. Gustav the Crocodile The hard luck people of Burundi have had to deal with the overflow of countless civil wars and at least one genocide, not to mention plenty of civil unrest of their own. And to top it off, their people are being stalked and systematically slaughtered by the most prolific serial killer of all time. The one responsible for such a mess is a crocodile known as Gustav. He lives in Lake Tanganyika, the second largest lake in Africa, and became famous for a very bad reason. He has a habit of attacking humans. The reptile weighs over a ton and is about 6 meters long. According to some studies based on the animal, it was estimated that he was 100 years old. However, a new study pointed out that, due to his intact dental arch, he is likely to be 60 years old. Every time Gustav was seen, his appearance was linked to a questionable number of deaths. Some sources say there were 300 deaths in total. Witnesses have seen Gustav cut through whole groups of people as large as five or six, but he rarely seems to eat a whole person. Instead, he will take a bite and move on, literally killing a man just to watch him die. The giant crocodile was shot three times and also has numerous scars, which were identified after the attacks. According to scientist and herpetologist, the scars are the result of injuries caused by hunters trying to kill the animal. Unlike the other four serial killers previously mentioned, Gustav is still alive. He is in fact a living, breathing, scream-eating dinosaur that is waiting to hunt his next prey, and there's nothing we can do to stop him. The thought of being slain or eaten by beast is the stuff of nightmares, and has haunted man for millennia. From the beast that Hercules was tasked with killing, such as the Neman lion and the Staphalian birds, to the continuing popularity of animals killing people today. That's scary, I know, but you should know that apart from these serial killers, humans are living along with some unknown beasts. To know who they are, just click on this video.